just got to do the, uh, go around the obelisk again a minute. I think I did pictures a minute ago, zoomed in pictures, I believe. Um, basically, it's the, the Needham Phillips family here. And um, I know, the sun's moving. Robert Phillips, brother of Mark, or father, I'm not sure it's father or brother, I can't quite read it, of um, Mark and Robert Needham Phillips, leading citizen of Manchester and landed proprietor at Snitterfield in this county. He was a good and good he was a good, a wise and a brave man, a friend of liberty in evil days. Born April the 3rd, 1760, died March the 14th, 1844. So he lived a good 84 years, didn't he? I can't remember if I, if I videoed, I can't, really can't remember. I know I took lots of photos a minute ago. There's a few churches darted all about that I would have done if I could have been a bit more mobile as well. It's quite flat when you're down there. Oh, I don't know. It's undulating, isn't it? But the roads are fast. So I just sat there a minute ago and just had a drink. And uh, so I'm at this monument. The Welcome Hotel is down there, which is from the Welcome family. Sounds like a drug company, doesn't it? I wonder if it is. And then there's Beecham as well. They were both druggists, weren't they? Beecham and Welcome. Yeah, maybe that's tied up with them. I just found a very, very rare... Well, I was surprised at finding this. This is a devil's claw. And I just found it in the dirt down there, on just in the field a minute ago. You know, I mean, that, I find these on, um, in Sam Bay. Don't find them on Western Beach. It's a devil's claw. What's that doing here? That's interesting, isn't it? A few little stones here. I'll take an, a couple of these because, um, they'll go in the, uh, little folder. So I've got Robert Needham Phillips, born of at the Park, Manchester, June the 20th, 1815, died at Welcome, Warwickshire, February the 28th, 1890. He was a merchant and manufacturer in Manchester. He represented Bury in Parliament for 22 years and was initially connected with this neighbourhood where he passed the cl closing years of his life. He will be remembered as a public-spirited citizen, a strenuous politician and a warm-hearted neighbour. So it's the Needham Phillips family. Yeah, I met a really nice lady a minute ago who pointed out some walk that I can do to, while I'm here. I mean, I don't mind. I've got hours before it's dark. I don't want to sit in a caravan on a day like this, do I? And that's Mark Phillips, born at the park Presswich, Lancashire, November the 4th, 1800. Died at Welcome, Stratford-on-Avon, Warwickshire, December the 23rd, 1873. On the passing of the Reform Bill, he was elected in 1832, the first member from Manchester, and continued to represent it for 15 years when the state of his health compelled him against the urgent wish of his constituents to resign the trust which he had so ably fulfilled. He was distinguished, courageous and energetic. And, uh, and the cause for education and civil and religious liberty. He took in the promotion of commercial freedom. In his private life he was kind, generous. With a rare flow of wit and humour endeared him to a wide circle of friends. This memorial was raised in 1876 in token of the deep esteem and warm affection of his only brother, Robert Needham Phillips. Wow. I don't know if they're actually buried under there. This is the Clopton Estate. This is the, called the Clopton Park. And it's more for me to look up, you see. So I'm glad I haven't run out of... Uh, I'm glad I've got Energizer with me. 
although I don't think it'll last much longer. And um, I'm already on my last memory. The other one hasn't run out, but I changed it over. But I've already used up 132 gigabytes. Um, and there's another one which probably isn't far off it being used. So it's turned out a really lovely day and I'm just, what I'm going to do now is just ramble around this estate a bit because apparently there's a Clopton Tower which is now a private residence. There's a Clopton House of, a, of great historic importance which is now converted into flats. But you've got that. I wanted to find out what that was, what it represented. So I'm really glad I've done this everyone. And down there you've got the Welcome Golf Course and Hotel. That Beecham was also mentioned by somebody. The Beecham family and Clopton House. Yes, that's right. The woman told me a little story about the Beechams. How the... I can't remember, it could have been Thomas Beecham left his wife. And um, she was also left with her grandson who was de deformed and mentally had mental problems and they had to keep him on a chain or something he was big <sighs> my grandmother ended up looking so she was abandoned by her husband and she ended up looking after the the grandchild so the Copson estate like I say is there any link with the Clare estate <sighs> I think there might be because they were a powerful family they come from the Depeche. There's different theories about that. Now, I don't know if I'm supposed to go this way, but I'm going to. It looks a bit cooler. Just pick up the pick up the old stone for um to go in a little container. We're finding that devil's claw though, innit? Yes, yeah, so there's a gate there. I don't know whether she said for me to go through the gate or not. Or whether to go up here even. The thing is, we're going out into the heat. I'm having to be a bit careful when I get overheated. I, um, I'll just take another one. It's no different to getting pebbles on the beach, is it? Just makes you a bit more alert. I mean, I didn't know I was going to find that. Right, so when we get up here, we're sort of walking around the Clopton State. I think this is still it. But it's a bit cooler doing it. this bit here, isn't it? The only other thing I thought of, if they've got all these sort of small stones, did they get them from a beach? You know, to lay down for pathways, did they get them from a beach? And obviously, the odd devil's claw. These could have come from a beach, you see. So I'll take that one as well. What a lovely end to the day. I mean, I much prefer to do this sort of thing, you know. You know, I'll take that one as well. Much prefer it. And where is everybody? Well, I'm just going to turn off for a minute to do some photos. I'm on the Clopton State. It's the 27th... No, 26th of May 2016, and I'm up in Staffordshire. I'm up in um, Stratford upon Avon. It's Shakespeare's 400th anniversary, and um, I've come to visit where he was born, where he was buried, where he lived, um, the Royal Shakespeare Company, um, everything. I've been everywhere. Um, Walking, done lots of walking. I've been out in the Shakespearean countryside like I am now, finding out about the history of the place. Over and out.